All right, and moving on. The next stage should in theory be the last one for the boss. I remember this. This is Dr. Wiley's old red UFO, back when we first fought. It looks like the Mega Man 1 capsule, potentially. It's rusted shard, and it looks like it's inopenable. Inoperable. Oh well, blue was always a better color for it. Probably correct. Ultimate level by Smool. Oh, SM3000L. 30.4 to that. Now, when something's called ultimate level, I really don't know what to expect. I really don't know what to expect. It could literally be anything. Hi, this is my first level, ultimate level. I'm new in the staff of Magma. I have a little experience of Game Maker Studio. Okay, now enjoy the level. And that I will. How did I not get hit there? An interesting song. Okay! Pakato 24 strikes again. That was quite mean place, man. Hey, at least the fire is animated, unlike that first stage. Uh, where I kept dying to Mecha Dragon because I kept falling into it, jumping into it by accident. Okay. I like this change in the song. Very much so, hell yeah. Jump blocks. Oh! That is just... Oh, that is such an appalling death. Honestly, that was shocking. Woo! I do like this song. Uh. I'm gonna wait this time. Is there anything here? Toothpaste strikes back! Hey, that's capture number three. I might be able to trade or say something to roll after this. Oh, puzzle time again, huh? Wait. Scrolling, okay. But I'm scrolling sideways, not upwards. I think the sun just looped. Mega Man 4, big eye, equivalent. You're not exactly doing anything creative, you're just putting enemies for the sake of putting enemies. And well, it's working, but... Now we go down, okay. Screw attackers, hello we tank. Now I'm back up to four again. Mm -hmm. 
Huge needle, Francis, huh? Oh yeah, I have a key. I can see at the bottom as well. Alrighty then. Please don't respond. I wanted to see what's over there. The end is near. I hope you're ready. Well, I haven't seen my trickster token yet, so I don't like that. Ah! Okay! Oh. Oh no, I have a key. I'm not, trying, I'm not risking this. Oh, hello! Okay. Didn't panic there. Heli generator, so you can see. Oh, hello! That is a bit of a leap. Oh! Woohoo! And this is probably where my token is. You're not gonna prank me, Eddie, are you? Gravity, gravity man? It's Quint! Wait. Quint? Quint? Did I break the level? This time, maybe don't, don't know what you did. The magic trick you just pulled off, gotta say, pretty damn impressive. I see the battle, what? Okay. I see the battle's exactly the same. And what I remember from Magma Mode 2. Goodbye, Quint. Nice magic trick you pulled off on me the first time. There's some light in here. Can I just do this? Hundra, man. None of his attempts to introduce others to ice skating went well. At least now we can journey with you. Cool. Well, ultimate level it was called, huh? This level is called ultimate, but it doesn't seem to be shouting about Maria very much. I don't think I get the joke, unfortunately. As for what it does, does do? Well, not a lot actually. Well, yes, this level has a lot of different pieces. The majority of the actual design is basic jumps and flat surfaces. This takes any potential variant variety and curbs it with the vast majority feeling samey even though there's a new toy in every room. Variety is a good thing to have but it's a variety of scenarios that create interesting design not a grab bag or pieces of the same window dressing. That being said there are some specific moments I need to cover. First there's an unnecessary amount of pixel perfect jumps in this day. They're not exactly difficult since you can just use utilities but the excess makes this a bit tedious. Secondly, while the idea of carrying a key for the level is a neat one, I'm not sure I appreciate how easily the checkpoints can screw over the player. Granted, if that didn't happen, there would be no difficulty in getting the level's token. But having to restyle everything for one little mistake often leaves a bitter taste. I'd have much preferred an actual challenge to a fake difficulty. Still, as a first level, 
This really isn't bad, a bit on the boring side, which really hampers my ability to talk about it and touch too many tedious parts. But there is a foundation here. My main piece of advice, a variety of scenarios with a small handful of gimmicks is usually more effective for level design. Quality over quantity. Always. And don't be afraid to experiment with different placement. But what's better than quality over quantity? Quality and quantity. Boom. Oh, the custom graphics were pretty. Regularly appearing black backgrounds got dull fast, but otherwise they look nice. Alright, Shinryu. I don't want to turn this review into a full-on lecture, but assuming the text box at the beginning is a joke or some elaborate trollish play, then I'd like to give you some advice. When it comes to level design, there's a number of things you need to keep in mind. One of them includes proper introduction to new gimmicks and enemies so they don't blindside the player. The stage goes against that basic design principle in a number of ways. I'm not saying your enemy and gimmick setups need to be hand-holding levels of easy, but they should at least let the player get a proper feel for what they're doing, going to be put up again. Putting them in a situation like the start of the stage where two different dropping platforms are introduced over instant death is a bit much for an introduction, and having two new enemy types waiting for you on the other side of this platform isn't doing any favours. That Pakato snipe was mean. The stage also suffers heavily from the one and done problem where a gimmick or enemy will appear and then never show up for the rest of the level stage. A good chunk of the level is like this for that matter. Funnily enough, despite the stage being so frantic with its constant use of different enemies and gimmicks, it's still relatively easy. The only point where things become somewhat trickier during certain 4 tower wide jumps, a few of which I don't think are possible about utilities. And then there's the fight against Quint. While I'm all for changing up things with vanilla engine bosses, I can't help but wonder what the point was of adding gravity flippers to Quint's fight. That is your to show. To make it easier, easier than he already was. At least that's what I'm getting out of it anyway. Overall, this definitely isn't the worst I've ever played, very far from it in fact, but it's still not particularly good either. Practice makes perfect though, and I know you can improve immensely over this. Very positive and constructive criticism. Hachi 48! That's close to half a score! Ultimate level! Mega Man, Mag Mammal 2. It's okay for a first ever level. You can definitely see some beginning designers mistakes, such as not introducing your gimmicks first in a safe environment, several of the platforms first appear over a bottomless pit, especially rough with the placement of Pakato 24, mandatory 4 tower jumps that require the player to do them almost pixel perfect, all gimmicks and enemies come and go, never to be used again for the rest of the stage. Mr. Full Stop there. Minor complaint, but no walls where the screens at end makes it somewhat annoying to secret hunt. Somewhat annoying to secret hunt. The powered up switch setup is also quite precise without using weapons. I still don't know what to do there. The gravity flippers make the quint fight a little more interesting than normal, but said gimmick was never introduced in the stage itself. So it could be confusing for players who have not seen this gimmick prior. Granted it's a death good asset, but the point still stands that proper gimmick handling is important. Bashman, only 24. They didn't really like this one that much. I could almost believe this is a legitimate attempt at a real level. What would the reason be kind? Check on placement, thoroughly normal aim, good sounding music and graphics that vaguely look like something I guess. But then there's an ambush by Tata24 and Snapperger and and this near side secretly foreshadowing a cheap death and a halfway interesting fight of a boss who's notorious for not being taken seriously. Which con collectively make it hard to believe that anything named ultimate level ever had the intention of being good. This level is neither truly ultimate nor ironically unultimate. It's a series of unrelated, uns uninspired challenges taking up space in a visually and architecturally barren location. And it smells like a half butted attempt at a troll level. We're going to troll us, do it right. Subvert expectations, mess up our heads, pile on the pain until it's preposterous. But demonstrate just enough restraint to keep from getting excluded. This level demonstrates so much restraint that it almost doesn't have an identity. Aside from the aforementioned ambush, sign and boss, which actually kind of work to an extent, you could have had a promising career as a troll if you really wanted to virtually no risks too. Virtually no risks are taken. This feels like an early draft in which the designer was still trying out different ideas and getting a handle on how to look 
collision objects work, any difficulty stems from fleeing setbacks and mild inconveniences. Once you know where the beginner traps are, the hardest part about getting the token is having the patience to play this level a second time. A good level should be fun to play, a good troll level should be fun to watch other people play. This level, this is ultimately a level. An ace! Unfortunately, there is very little substance to this level. There are a huge number of enemies and gimmicks used exactly once and never seen again. It is very hard to show any kind of progression or focus in the level of unique assets because of this fundamental... Fundamental... where is the word? Fundamental flaw. There isn't a lot more to talk about this level. There are a couple of positives. The graphics were pretty well tiled and put together, though lacking detail and the background and the music was awesome. Funnily enough, the quint fight was pretty enjoyable because of how silly it ended up being. Checkpoints were also pretty well placed, but one does bypass a puzzle, so shrug. There are a few pixel perfect or even impossible bust around the sections in level which are pretty obnoxious and break what little flow the level has. The token requiring no death is not a particularly fun concept, especially when you can be locked out via checkpoint later on. It is obvious this is the first attempt, but I would recommend looking at other levels and limiting what assets you use in future. Also try to get other members of the community to have a look at your level before you submit it and take advice from them. Yeah, not a bad level. For a first attempt, it's passable. It's fair for the most part. And it functions well, it looks okay, it has good music, but ultimately that's all it really is. It's not a memorable level with a gimmick being used and squeezed out to like every last drop of what you can kind of potentially can get out of it. Um, yeah. So that's it for that level. Now there's only one element left, but I'm still gonna take a pause just in case there is another stage, but it might just be a boss. Anyway, yeah, refreshing pause time and I'll be right back. <laughs> 